This is Reckham 247 editor Daniel Pauling. I'm here at Lubbock Cooper High School. We've got Jared Dagey uh, and Ty Thomas. You guys probably recognize the last names. Jared's the younger brother of Seth Dagey. Ty is a nephew of Zach Thomas, legendary uh, linebacker at Texas Tech. They both transferred in. They're going to be juniors this fall here at Lubbock Cooper. Uh, going to be making a big impact on the team. Uh, Jared, I'll start with you. Just what, what sort of your uh, uh, role going to be this fall? I know you're a quarterback there at Iran. Are you expecting to start this fall at quarterback? What sort of your, what did you do with that? Uh, yeah, I think the team, as I came in, they they kind of took me in and, and they knew I was pretty good. And, uh, they trust me and uh, I think I'm just going to come in and do my job and help this team get better and make them better. Now I saw a little bit of your film, I got to watch your sophomore highlights. You have the ability to scramble for a touchdown, but you also have the ability to you know, throw for a touchdown. Do you feel like your strength maybe is, I mean, how much is your running game a part of your game in total? How big is that going to be for you? I mean, from the 5A level, maybe, I got, I'm going to get faster. I mean, everybody's faster and bigger and stronger here, but I got to get faster and bigger and stronger. But I think I can still run it, and I'm going to do whatever it is. Now, Ty, uh, just what's sort of your role going to be this fall here? I know you play a little bit of safety. Is that going to be your role? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have a few packages I'm running back. For the most part, I'm going to be calling the play. I'm going to get every. We all have the same goal. We all want to say, hey, uh, we got our team together. Really well. so, are you expecting to start, or is it just sort of, hey, uh, 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 I mean, I think I, I think I have my spot secured right now. There's still a little more bad thing to do, but who knows about it? I think we have our defense being set. Now I saw the film, uh, on your huddle film, you're returning a few punts. Is that still going to be? Uh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> hopefully, I'll, hopefully I'll be returning the most of them. Okay. I want to. Definitely. Your uncle played a little bit of linebacker. Do you see yourself maybe to get older to moving in there, or is uh, it just safety for now? Probably safety. I don't know if I'll get as big as my uncle. My dad actually played a tattoo. He's a safety. Okay. So, uh, you know, I think all of this stuff. Yeah, we got the good level. Good level yeah. back there. Um, now, Jared, just kind of going back to you, what what led you to transfer? I know you were at IRAN last year. What led you to kind of come into uh, to Cooper this year? My dad and my family kind of wanted to coach to my, my other family and my brothers here. And my dad wanted to coach one more time before he had to retire and uh, decided to just to get played to come. And Ty, same question to you. You were at Canyon, uh, Canyon Land with the first couple of years. What led you down here? Uh, mainly just my dad's gyms. Uh, he uh, wants to build another one down here, so they're just a better thing for us. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, with this fall, a couple of you guys talked about it state championship, or at least getting into the playoffs. What are some of your goals individually and team wise this fall? I think we can go 10 and 0. Thank you, very good. For you, Jared, it's going to be a little bit of a step up in competition going from, I think you said 2A up to you know, 5A. Just how big of an adjustment is that going to be for you? I mean, I don't think that football's football and I'm going to play. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, definitely. Now, Seth, uh, obviously, is a big name here at Lubbock. What, uh, what has he taught you about playing quarterback? How big of a role model has he been for you? My brother's taught me anytime I need something to fix, I'm going to work to fix it. Anytime I need something to fix, I'm going to work to fix it. Ty and your uncle and your father, how big of a role have they played and just how much do they kind of keep in your ear about saying, hey, work on this, work on that? Well, uh, I mean, I think it's not going to be around for most of the time. Maybe, maybe. Did y'all know each other before you transferred down here? Did y'all uh, know sort of friendship uh, now? When I, uh, like, I kind of like scoped it out a little bit before I made the game. And uh, I got to that there. Okay. We were pretty good buddies. Okay. Now, obviously with Texas Tech here in town, how much have the coaches at Texas Tech maybe talked to both of y'all? Obviously being, you know, in your case, the semi-legacy of your uh, brother going there. How much uh, have the coaches not talked to y'all? I mean, at the camp, they say good job, continue to do the ball, watch you. Uh, I think just holding off to the season. Okay, this is not much. I mean, if, if Tech offered, would you guys be able to jump on it, or is that something, hey, I have to consider where I'm not looking at? 
Now, this is summer. I know you guys are. Today was the first day back after a two-week playoff. Uh, what what skills are maybe you trying to work on uh, specifically? Anything that you're trying to work on this fall? Get ready for this fall. I've been throwing all summer into the game. Okay. So trying to add maybe a little bit more running to your game. Do you, like, do you feel like you're more of a speed guy, or your guy who's going to bulldoze over somebody? Yeah, I might not like that. You know, you slide. Okay. Ty, what, what skills are maybe you can kind of do? Uh, maybe you can do some cards. Just gotta work on my speed, work on my quickness. That's my goal. Yeah. Alright, real quick. One strength of your game and one weakness of your game that you're trying to work on. What do you feel like you might strength of your weakness? All right, well, these guys got two more years here at uh, Newport High School, uh, so we'll definitely keep an eye on how they're progressing. But, you know, obviously, being the local guys, you have to keep a close eye on you, especially with Texas Tech and the relationships you, have, you guys have with Seth Day and Zach Thomas and Bob as well. Uh, that'll do it for this edition of the Record 247 Recruiting Show. Be sure to check out record247.com for more.